Welcome back everyone to another uh, video. I hope you're doing well indeed. Back with us is Anthony Brown, CEO of Amp Ventures, and also special guest Lachlan Monroe, the legend Canadian actor. Um, I'm sure a lot of you recognize him, but uh, yeah, so we just uh, finished uh, doing some volumetric capture on the meta stage. Uh, looking forward to showing you all uh, what Amped in Departure Lounge is going to put together. And Graham's acting debut. And also my uh, <laughs> acting uh, retirement. <laughs> his debut and his retirement in one day. That's yes. Just... <laughs> <laughs> but looking forward to that. Um, but yeah, with uh, further ado, today Amped, you announced the uh, Tippet Studios has selected you for their North American expansion. So, you know, maybe we can talk a little bit about that. Okay, first of all, um, let me intervene here. Uh, first of all, this is Tippet Studios, the Phil Tippet who has done every freaking major amazing motion picture ever. So I actually am very excited to be sitting next to Anthony <laughs> to actually know that he knows Phil Tippet. So this is uh, like for anyone who doesn't know, this is really exciting news for Amp because this man is a legend. Well, first of all, I have, I have to say, I have not yet myself had the opportunity <laughs> to meet Phil Tippett. Uh, I'm working with Gary Mundell, who's the COO and head of studio over there. Um, uh, but yeah, Tippett Studios is a, kind of a spin-off from ILM, right? Phil Tippett did the walkers in Empire Strikes Back. He did the, the, the um, dinosaurs in Jurassic Park. I mean, yeah, all granddaddy visual effects kind of thing. And then he, he left ILM and built uh, Tippett Studios and has been, I mean, I think some of the latest stuff he's been on is like, you know, Mandalorian and Boba Fett and, you know, doing bits and pieces. I've never um, heard of those. Never heard of those? No, 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 no. no, no. They're, they're, <laughs> they're, you know, Disney, yeah, yeah whatever. Little, yeah. little indie stuff. Little indie stuff, you know, <laughs> no, no biggie. So it is, it's a huge endorsement for us because, you know, we launched Amp Virtual Studio, which is the underpinning computing platform that runs on the pods. Um, uh, in, in August, right? So in August at SIGGRAPH, which is the big AVFX conference that was actually running here in Vancouver for a change, um, uh, and got a chance to be able to launch it in front of pretty much the entire industry in public and demoed it. In, like, talk about, like, you know, heart palpitations. Uh, we, we, we basically were launching in two continents and three countries and showing somebody working on an asset simultaneously like a VFX asset simultaneously from Amsterdam, LA, and Vancouver at the same time in front of like hundreds of people, like like from the industry, like pros. Um, and so being able to show that off at SIGGRAPH was huge. And of course, we also launched the Departure Lounge, uh, a meta stage, uh, the, the largest, highest resolution volumetric capture stage in the world right here in Vancouver, also at SIGGRAPH. And so it's, it hasn't been very long since SIGGRAPH, uh, but we've been working with Tippet for a little while, uh, and uh, and they've been you know testing out Amp Virtual Studio. They started off on the render, and then started working on the workstation, virtual workstations, and all the rest of it. And um, and yeah, they basically they've been trying to find a way to get render resources, and that rendering is when you take all the digital content, right, uh, from all the different artists, and you render it into a frame. And it takes a lot of computing to do that, right? And, um, and so they've, they've tried everything. They tried all the different platforms from, uh, well, I won't list the competition, but they tried all the different uh, platforms and finally um, the, we got a chance for them to try it on, uh, on Amped. And we had them on the pod in, in, in LA actually. They're in Berkeley, so about 350 miles away from the LA pod. And uh, when they rendered something like 4,000 or 5,000 frames uh, on the uh, Amp Virtual Studio platform, and their, their render anglers, like the guys who run things, didn't even know that the server wasn't in the studio, that it was 350 miles away, right? And so that kind of sold it for us, it really did. And, uh, and so to get somebody like Tippet Studios um, to, to choose Amped, and they're, now th I'll tell you a little bit more about their expansion in a second, but it, it's, it's a giant endorsement, Yeah. right? It's, it's really, it, it shows that, you know, the product we've made is really kind of you know which is also very humbling for you because of you know i like 
I feel I mean feel diffident. It's like all I have like yeah. like so I'm hopefully gonna go down <laughs> to Berkeley. Yeah. Right at some point and 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 meet him if he if he's willing to meet me. I don't know, like I might just go all fanboy on the yeah. guy. I don't wanna yeah. like freak out or anything. Yeah. But um but I mean like look, I've been a fan and, and by the way, he just came out with um, his, his kind of his magnum. His, his, uh, he worked 30 years on this project called Mad God, which is a, a, you know, the whole thing is in stop motion. And it's kind of this, this kind of descent into, into hell, kind of really uh, intense experience kind of movie that he put together. And he finally released it, just came out on AMC Shutter. Uh, and so getting to kind of get reacquainted with his work again and see the, the guy's a genius. I mean, like, you know, and Tippett Studios, I mean, they, you know, one of my, one of my favorite, they do a lot of creature work. One of my favorite creatures is Ted. Have you ever seen the Ted movies? Sure, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, come on, a teddy bear smokes pot. Yeah. How cool is that? Um, <laughs> and so, so they're, you know, they, they, they did all the Ted stuff and they, they, you know, they've done, you know, everybody knows about all the big giant stuff they do. But like, when you take a look at the, the individual pieces of the work that they've done, um, they're also building experiences. They're really kind of pushing towards next-gen content, yeah. right? Yeah. They've made like like ride experiences and virtual reality experiences mm -hmm. and all that sort of stuff as well. So it was really perfect timing for their expansion. The content demands are huge, right? right? I mean, I'm you know, Lachlan. I mean, I you know, I know you're already prolific. I mean, <laughs> yeah. you know, something like yeah. 300 movies. But I mean, are you getting lots more? Like, are you getting like? Lots of people asking. You know, is there a lot more content that you're seeing getting absolutely, made? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. It's uh, that's what's great about being an artist is that um, there is so much more opportunity out there um, through the situation with what you have going with the departure lounge and, and uh, the metaverse and, and bringing it all into what's going on right now. And um, I know for all artists in in uh, in the industry, it's it's amazing. It's it's. I mean, you think about you think about back in the '90s, there were four networks. There was ABC, <laughs> right, CBS, NBC, right. and then Fox was a new kid on the block with 21 Jump Street. Right? Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, now you look at all of the content that that people like me get a chance to go out on, and it's and it's good, man. Like so, you did of, like the last one I saw was Peacemaker. Yeah. Right. Peacemaker was what? What AMC? What was Peacemaker? Uh, HBO Max. HBO Max. Yeah. HBO yeah. Max. Yeah. Right. So you've got all the OTTs. You got your Netflix and your Hulu's and your Craves and your whatnot, and they're all demanding content. Sure. You got your HBOs, uh, uh, HBO Max, and Showcase, and all those guys demanding content. On top of all the regular studios, the Miramaxes, sure. Paramounts, and yeah. so on in the world. It, as the demand grows, and it's only going to keep growing, mm -hmm. and the type of product, I mean, like, I mean, have you seen, you guys have seen, like, the new, um, you know, uh, Game of Thrones yeah. and Lord of the Rings yeah. and so on? That stuff, you could, you barely ever see that even in a movie. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's yeah. done episodic now. Yeah, it's huge. So, the, basically, they have to make more content, they have to make it faster, they have to get to market faster, and all of these tools and technologies that we're building, by the way, world's best tools and technologies for creating digital content, um, uh, uh, you know, are, are, be, are being really important as all this stuff grows. And that's not even counting, like one of the big things I like to bring up when it comes to digital content and it comes to, to what, what's happening in the world. Um, John Riccatello is currently the CEO of Unity, right, which is the big competitor to Unreal um, another game engine company. I think there's something like an 18 billion dollar market cap. Don't quote me on that. I'm sure somebody will look it up. Um, but they're 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 huge. And John Riccatello, uh, in in one of his keynotes, said that by 2030, anybody who has a 2D website is going to need a 3D metaverse hub. So it's not just the content for film and right. television. Right. It's the content for the internet, which is, you know, everybody's referring it to, to it as the metaverse. <coughs> and don't get me wrong, meta sees things one way, but it's, it, it's not just meta. It's, it's going to be pretty much everything, right? The way that we experience it is you don't going to have to put on a clunky headset and, and do fully immersive. You'll be able to see it on your glasses or even on a 2D screen, right? It's still going to be more of an interactive 3D experience. And all of that content needs to be created. 
Yeah, well, I mean, Tim Cook just came out and said augmented reality is kind of the next big thing. You know, we're not going to realize it until it's, you know, part of our lives, right. you know, kind of like the internet and all that kind of stuff. Uh, the iPhone, for example. Mm -hmm. You know, we're not going to know what it's about until it's here and right. we're living in it. So, you know, being early adopters, you, you know, your technology, like you said, the world's best technology that's delivering this content. Um, another good point you made in terms of content and all these companies that are competing for content, they all need to hold subscriptions. I mean, that's their whole business is subscriptions, subscriptions, sure. subscriptions. I mean, you have Disney that does, um, you know, they're, they're, they're selling, you know, material as well. Like, but at, at the same time, all these companies need to hold subscriptions. And how do they do that? Meaningful content. Yep. So you look at, you know, Amazon with Lord of the Rings, you look at Game of Thrones that comes out on HBO. All these companies need to come out with meaningful content to keep their subscribers engaged or risk losing that. So how do they do that? Like you said, time, money, and, you know, technology. They need, they need more content. I mean, you know, they need more. The, the, the technology is an enabler. The technology is not, uh, um, it's not the end all be all. It's the content that is, right? right. But the, the technology is designed to be able to help them to make that content better and make it faster, yeah. right? And that's that's basically what we do. We're the kind of the it's more of a picks and shovels play yeah. for for Amped than anything else, right? It's for a picks sure. and shovels play for, for for the metaverse. But you know, when we talked about Tippet today, and I, I, you did have a question from your Discord group with regards to. Um, uh, uh, Tippet Studios. You remember what that yeah, was? Yeah. So there, there's a few questions, but I think I mean one of the questions was in regards to are they going to be utilizing the LA pods? Are they going to be utilizing right. you know the Vancouver pods up here? Right. Or how is that all going to? So work? they've started out on the LA pod. So they're running Virtual Studio on the LA pod for the for, for the Berkeley Studio, and that's where they did their render and so on. Yeah. Uh, but the big expansion is actually happening in a Toronto studio, okay. and so we'll be building out. That's that is actually the next location for the next amp pod. So that kind of works out well for us. Uh, and that's where they're going to be building out. I, the, I, I, you know, don't quote me on this, but I believe their intention is to build about 250 person studio uh, in Toronto. That's not small. That's a big. That's a big VFX studio. Um, and you know, that's uh, you know, 250 virtual workstations. To, anyway, we'll see how that all goes. <laughs> that, we're hang on. That's you know, forward looking statements and all that sort of stuff. Right now. Um, you know, Tippett has chosen to use AMP for its expansion. We'll see how big that expansion becomes as we move forward. But I think that just shows you the, the opportunity for, you know, studios like this, like Tippett. Um, so obviously this is an investor discussion. So what does this mean for investors? What does it mean to you as AMP and Departure Lounge that Tippett has chosen you? Obviously that means, you know, because all these other studios are watching what everybody, each, each, each entity does, right? So what does that do for you as a company when, you know, probably like the most world-renowned, you know, studio. one of, one of, you know, there's also ILM and Weta and all that sort of stuff. Don't get me wrong, but you know, Tippett's Tippett's definitely up there, and they work with on the same projects as those yeah. as those kinds of guys do. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's it's kind of more like what Lachlan said when he was talking about, you know, uh, uh, all the content and how big how big what, what a name Phil Tippett is and what a name oh. Tippett Studios is and the endorsement behind it. Back when I ran Seven Group and we were building studio infrastructure for studios, I had, I, you know, you, you always have your first studio, right? Now we've already been working with Bardell, we've already been working with some other studios before Tippett, but, you know, my first big studio was Mainframe Entertainment when I was doing um, uh, uh, Seven Group, <coughs> and it took about it took about four years for us to get seventy percent market share in Canada. Uh, from that, because it's a, it's a club, right? right? Like you're a member, you know, Lachlan's a member of this club, sure. right? That and that's why you get gig after gig after gig is because you're kind of a member of the club, and that's what you have to kind of do. You've you've got to get that big one to fall, right. and and then, you know, if when I'm when I'm having my next meeting with whoever, I'm, I won't say any names, but when I'm having my next meeting with another studio, and I get to go, well, it works for Tippett. That's huge, yeah. right? And it just means that, I mean, we're already in discussions with lots of other studios as well. Tippett's not the only one, uh, and we'll be announcing them as they come on board as we move forward. But that endorsement, that's the, it's like the tipping of the do domino, right? right? And then yeah. and the next ones just fall. Um, but, you know, 
Before we finish, uh, I just wanted to, to mention we're here with Lachlan and, and Graham at, or Hammy, at, <laughs> at, uh, at the uh, volumetric capture stage behind us, and we just shot together. We just actually did yeah. a gig together. Um, I'm like a kid in a candy store. I got to, I got to direct. I know I normally will. I, that's not my job. I don't get to do that. I'm the CEO of Amped, and so they don't let me in here normally. But they let me do that today, and what a blast we had! Uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, showing everybody the content. We're going to have some behind the scenes about about the day and what we did. But we're, you're going to be able to see the holograms of. Graham and Lachlan yeah. and all the things that this technology can do in this little fun little skit that we put together. And this is today. just that's just a piece of the technology. Oh yeah. Right? yeah. I mean, gosh, Wait till we start so looking much, at virtual production. So much you guys. Yeah. It's, yeah. So take it from me, someone who's been in this business a long time. I am man, I'm so excited about what Anthony has going on here. It's it's like it's game changing. And uh, it's exciting uh, as an, uh, from an artist viewpoint. It should be exciting from an investor viewpoint because this really is the, this is the tipping point right now, right? It feels like this is where it's like, it starts. The rubber's hitting the road. Yeah, absolutely. It is, that's, yeah. that's it, right? Well, it's I think the biggest challenge is just getting it all up, getting it all working, sure. and now yeah. you're starting to see the fruits of that labor getting tipped on board. And I'm sure there's gonna be many more things coming out you know, from all this, from SIGGRAPH and all that, but this, it takes time to collaborate and to put deals together and to, you know, yeah. figure out where to go. So, you know, as investors, I think it's important to remain patient. This is real. This, this is, <laughs> in fact, real. Yeah. This, is a, this is a company that is, you know, on the cutting edge of where things are going to be in the next five to ten years. And, you know, we're, you know, I'm blessed to even be sitting here today and being yeah. a part of it. So did we not have a blast today? It, it was, was it, it not was awesome? Blast. It was a blast. It was awesome. Well, guys, thanks for all your support. Um, you know, it's it's great to, to have the Stock Fam Group supporting Ant. Um, you know, we, we we wouldn't be here we, without you guys. Uh, and uh, thanks very much for all of that. And hey, stay tuned. There's lots more to come. Awesome. Thank you, Anthony. Thank you, Lachlan. Looking forward to doing this again very shortly. Have a good day. Bye, guys.